guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I'll be reviewing the Mattel WWE Elite Series 67 Cedric Alexander figures. This is his very first action figure and his first time in the WWE Mattel line. I got mine on ringsidecollectibles.com, as can you, and you could save 10% with discount code MBG at checkout. It will save you some dough and support yours truly, so thank you as always. I was pretty excited to get this figure. I know several people are complaining that he is not toned enough, which I can agree with. They gave him more of a tiny torso, but I'm not good at torso cracking, so I will just accept it. I mean, if I ever find another one, I would perhaps attempt having it swapped to make him more accurate. But regardless, it is still a nice figure. He comes with the cruiserweight title if you never pick that up, as well as some swappable hands. And uh, that being said, looking at the box, you can see him on this side his name on that side. On the back is a picture of him winning the title. It has some statistics about him on the back as well. And also in the set is Shayna Baszler, Jeff Hardy with a Chase variant, Randy Orton, Velveteen Dream, and Rey Mysterio. So that being said, let's take a look at him fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the Elite 67 Cedric Alexander figure fresh out of the packaging. I'd say it's a pretty nice figure, minus the torso aside, I think it is pretty nice. It looks pretty much like him. Um, I do like it a lot, the detail on him is great. My only other complaint is that you could see his uh, skin on his peg, as they should have given him a white peg instead of a skin tone one. So, I don't know, I just really wish they would pay more attention to that, as it does stand out a lot, or somehow just paint that part of the peg so it doesn't... Uh, seem as noticeable I guess because it looks like a break in his tape and he really doesn't have that but besides that pretty good figure I'm going to show you the cruiserweight title first if you've never seen it so the camera will focus really quick there you go so you can see the detail on the plate I love this belt this might be my favorite Mattel belt personally I just love the purple and the detail on the plates it is really really cool so this is a great accessory if you do not own the TJP that came with the other one. I don't remember if Neville or someone else came with it too, I forget. But it's a great accessory. And then he does come with a swappable fist. And then a swappable thumbs up hand. And once again, you can see it's an all brown peg. So when it's in his wrist, you can see brown. It should be white. So then it just kind of all blends together. So it looks kind of silly like he never taped that part of his hand, so to speak. But... I give it this rating, but it's still a pretty good figure. Uh, regardless, that's it for his hands and looking at him. So here's his first head scan. I think it looks pretty good. They painted on his uh, necklace around his neck here. It would have been cool if they made a little plastic strap just to make it that much more authentic, but regardless, still very nice. He's got like his mohawk hairdo here. See the detail on his uh, facial hair as well. Of course, his torso is a little bit tiny, should be wider and uh, more thick and toned. Like on his uh, boxes, he is a lot more ripped than this, but oh well. You can see uh, the detail in his tattoos here as well. More on this arm. Then he's got his uh, hand and wrist tape here, it's even painted partially over his thumb. And then his like, gauntlet here, the string and straps. And then there's the detail in his trunks, also very nice. Love the purple and silver, it's very cool. Then the purple designs on his knee pads, he does have double jointed knees, so the knee pads do not restrict him at all, which is great. And then he just has his black uh, kick pads, so. That is Cedric, few minor things with him, but besides that, it is still a nice debut figure of him. I'm curious if we will ever see more figures of him. Probably a basic, I would guess, but I'm not sure if he'll ever attempt another Elite. I guess we'll have to see how well he does. But uh, anyway, that being said, uh, you can get him on ringsidecollectibles.com. Save 10% with discount code MBG at checkout. And remember to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future views you would like to see me do, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. 
and check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com.